I am heading to the store right now to get some breakfast foods because we just got back from our trip and we have basically nothing to eat. So I'm gonna get a bag of really good bagels and probably some avocados because that's my favorite breakfast, bagels and avocados. And I'm hands free right now, just so you know. You guys, I'm feeling slightly, ever so slightly under the weather this morning and there's something you should know about me. I'm a pretty anxious person and I get stressed easily. I don't, stress isn't the exact right word, but I get like, I obsess over ideas and I like can't sleep sometimes and I make myself sick like all of the time. Um, so I'm trying to like just like not let it fully get me and like I don't, I can't get sick right now. Uh, but I, I'm like, it probably just seems like I get sick a lot, but I just, I just make myself sick from my worrying and obsessing. So I need to just relax and get more sleep and stay healthy. Hopefully I don't get sick because I can't really afford to get sick right now. There is the seal that you can trust. So much better than Florida avocados. Also, did you guys hear that the uh, American bison is now the national mammal? I thought that was pretty cool because I really like bison, so. We've been running errands, but I forgot my camera like a doofus. I went to get, I have to renew my passport. The last time I got a passport, I was 16 years old. So it's been 10 years and I had to get a new one. And I wish I had showed you my passport from when I was 16 because it was so horrible. And my eyes are half shut because it's seven in the morning. I'm tired and I'm just really bad at taking photos. like. I always have my eyes closed if there's a flash. So I got my picture taken again. Same problem this time. Eyes half closed. What the heck? Get it together. This is gonna be my, my photo for the next 10 years again. I have Fig outside with me right now. I took him out for a little playtime. A little playtime. Huh? And uh, it's a little windy, but I, ha I don't have a rant. I just have like a little thing I wanna say. We were driving back from the post office this morning and we saw this giant truck and it had a big bumper sticker on the back and I'm about to say a bad word so here it comes. The bumper sticker said no bitch for president and we were about to take a right turn and the truck went straight and I was like Kevin please follow that truck because I just I cannot I need to see who is in that truck I need to understand who believes this so hard that they, need, they needed to put a no bitch for president bumper sticker on their truck. So we followed them, which is maybe crazy, but I just had to see for my own curiosity. And just to be clear, I, I mean, everyone is entitled to their own political beliefs. Absolutely, I believe that. Uh, that's what's great about the United States. You can believe that Hillary Clinton should not be president. I understand that belief, but I mean, you, the, bit, the word bitch is a derogatory word. So it's just a bad word, a mean word, a negative word, a hateful word to use to begin with. But, I mean, by saying no bitch for president, I mean, everyone knows you're talking about Hillary Clinton, she's the only female in the race. You're basically saying no woman for president, which I don't agree with and I don't believe in. And so we followed this truck and we pulled up and I was so shocked to see that the person driving the truck was a woman. I, I'm just mostly confused right now. I don't really know. I, I don't know if that was irony or what that was. Either way, I just, it makes me sad to see such hateful things that people want. Not only, it's not like just a hateful belief, but it's one that you want to spread and put a sticker of on your truck. Fig is not very potty trained, but he is great at walking off the leash. He's a very good listener and follower. Hi, huh, Figgy. Well, this is new. Interesting, Figgy. I had to wash his feet off because he just got so muddy. We are allowing the goats to come back into the old pasture because we don't want them to destroy all the grass in here. 
So here they come. There's so much more delicious grass to eat in here. They're a little timid at first. Go ahead. Good job. Close this gate behind them. Oh, we're moving them all the way over there? Didn't realize. Go ahead, Isabel. Go see Kevin. Go ahead, guys. There we go. There we go. Good job, guys. <clears throat> Look how pretty. They are happy. They have so much to eat over here. They will climb on anything they find. Really? I don't even know where Levine is. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come down. Look at these best buds. Look at that stance right now. He loves it, Uncle Kev. All right guys, we're about to go to bed. Make sure that you comment on my Instagram photo if you wanna win one of these, or both of these actually, Glossier face masks. I'm gonna do a little spa treatment for myself and you guys can join me, whoever wins, uh, if you wanna win those. Like I said earlier, I got, I applied for my new passport today, so it should come, I have to get it expedited. It should come in two weeks. And um, if this trip follows through and everything, we should have something really fun coming up in June. Um, but we'll see. All right, gonna go to sleep. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world, and we will see you tomorrow.